here we are at Penfold's historic monopole, the McGill Estate Vineyard. George, what's so special about the vines here? Well, this is the site of the very first Penfold's Vineyard with 5.2 hectares of Shiraz. It's quite a unique site. It's got a nice westerly aspect and that helps us ripen quite early in the season. Uh, and Steve, uh, we get some pretty good fruit off this vineyard, don't we? Yeah, the fruit's outstanding. Uh, and since 1983, we're primarily all used for Penfold's the McGill Estate Shiraz. All made in the old historic winery, uh, only a few hundred metres from here. Felicity, the Adelaide Hills is such an interesting wine region and very important to Penfold. What are its defining features? Uh, I think it's a really diverse region with uh, quite a large area, different soils, different climate, um, gives us lots of different flavours. Just a touch more rain than some other parts of Absolutely, South Australia. Yep. Kim, you get some very good fruit from here. What do you do with it? Well, I particularly love the Chardonnay from this region because um, because of the cooler climate, the slower ripening, you get beautiful purity of fruit and you get that lovely acid structure. And that's really conducive for what we're looking for, for Binet and indeed sometimes Yutana. The unique soils in Coonawarra, Jamie, the red loam over limestone, which is fantastic to work with. And what grape varietals are we growing? Coonawarra is renowned for Terrarossa soil and Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz. Penfold's parcels of fruit are, are sourced for bin 707, 389 and 407. And there's a new one in the luxury tier, the bin 169. That is quintessential Coonawarra. It's what we do best, Cabernet Sauvignon. George, tell me about the two main sub-regions of the Barossa. Well, Eden Valley is only 20 minutes away, but it's significantly higher in altitude, so it's much better for white wines, particularly Riesling. And at the moment, we're in the Barossa Valley, and that's really well known for its more masculine wines, the Shiraz, Cabernet, Grenache and Mataro. Steve, we get some exceptional fruit from the Barossa Valley. What sort of wines are you making from here? Barossa Valley fruit uh, really is the backbone for, for Penfold's Grange and a really important blending component in St Henri and of course RWT. George, we're standing on hallowed ground. Uh, tell us about this particular vineyard. Yeah, we are standing in block 42. So it's our most significant vineyard and our, and our oldest, planted in the 1880s. And it's thought to be the oldest continuously producing Cabernet Sauvignon block in the world. 